Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magoo, California. Today we're going to do a video review of the Stunticons. Here's a little roll call for you. Drag Strip, Dead End, Motor Master, Breakdown, and Wild Rider. We're going to combine them today. That's part three. So let's get to it. Uh, yeah, this is G1, so don't expect too much from them. So basically this is what we're going to do. And the beauty of these things is it's Scramble City. Everybody could be whatever they want. Arms, legs. So I'm not going to do the traditional one because quite frankly I forgot what it's supposed to look like. I'm just going to make these guys the legs and these two guys. These two guys are going to be the arms. These are going to be the legs. Yeah, it's fairly simple. For the head. There we go. Just pop, or sorry, the legs. Pop that down. We're going to move that up. And pop that down. Okay. So there we go. Those are the legs. And here's the thing. They got a ton of pieces. We got leg pieces over here. And each one's going to be one of them. Pop that in there. And it's going to be, for some odd reason, weird. There we go. I think it'll work better that way anyways. And again, Scrabble City. So, yeah, the arms, pop the head down, there we go, and we got a few fists here, and say what you will about the Transformers, they really, that's why I like the GoBots, because they didn't have to add these extra pieces. There we go, they just pop in right there, and those are the arms. Motor Master, of course, now what we're going to do is put the legs apart, or so they form like so. The cab piece is now going to rotate to the back. It doesn't peg anywhere, you just need to rotate to the back. There's a little hinge right here that rotates. And that's Motor Master. Now we're going to put his big head pops in nicely good okay we have a chest piece that pops into these little two pieces right here great and a waist piece that cradles nicely I think yep there we go. so there you go let's start Combining. Well, I thought it would. There's Motor Master. Start combining them. Head pops into that little slot right there. You got to be careful, of course. There we go. Arms pop into this little slot right there. comes with a sword and a gun and there's your brick but as much as I complain how big of a brick he is he really is a striking figure and of course he ain't gonna have that much articulation basically in the arms I like the sword. The sword is like the best part of it. I like it's chromed out. Much more detail on the head even though it can't move much. And yeah, as far as these guys go, he's the biggest brick of all the Gestalts that I'm aware of. So, not bad. Big purple gun, just like Motor Master had. Details here, waist piece. I mean, not too bad. Still a parts former, which is trademark of... What do you call these guys? G1. As you can see, not a huge figure. How tall is this guy? About, shoot, not even eight inches tall. These are re relatively short guest alt. Most guest alts are about the eight inch range. So there he is with C. Bruticus towers over him. So he's a short guest alt, slightly bigger than a Voyager figure. So, not a bad looking thing. Only thing I like about Minasaur is just the color scheme about it. He's just distinctive. He's not as imposing as 
Bruticus as you can see, but it's just a distinctive figure. I just like it. The colors work for me. The black, the grays, and the combination. It's just purple. It just screams Decepticon. It's like quintessential. I mean, it's a first attempt. What can you do? They've improved since then, but it's still a big brick. All right. That's all I got, YouTubers. Give it a still 6 out of 10 for first attempt. That's all I got, YouTubers. Catch you all next time.